Hey there, everyone! This is Algal playing Spyro Madness, and Peacekeeper is another term for like the army? This is the dragon army right here? Okay, well, why is there like Toad People army here? I don't know, man. These guys are just regurgitating their own bullet. Like, that's just weird. Why you gotta make it awkward, friend? I don't know. Anyways, I'm here. Uh, whoa. That was some violent camera swing. Have I been in this game before? I, I don't know. Cliff Town. It's a town for cliffs. Alright, sure. I, I can do that. Oh, I just gotta click something outside, but it doesn't change anything. So if I hadn't said anything, you wouldn't have noticed anything. Hi! Hey there, on Sao Cow. We're in the world zone. Apparently, if you press select. Yeah! Instant inventory. It's like they know. So, egg 403. And a guy there, he's just kind of there, you know, he's just having fun, he's like, hey, check it out, I'm here, I got my shield and everything. I'm ready for war! And now he's ready for war in the afterlife. So, this, according to the name, I guess this is where the people live, like it's a town. But it's not a dragon town, like there's not enough, oh, look at that, yeah, that's right, I'm gonna boil a single gem out of this marmite. Marmite. What's that? Cauldron? Yeah, there we go. Um, oh yeah, my life situation. Yeah, it's up to four, so that's what I thought. Restoring a game from the safe zone, gave me back my lives. I don't know why Spark there was all excited. Well, there's a lot of reasons to be excited. Alright, so look at that. Oh yeah, all your dogs. I'm gonna fry them up, and then I'm gonna fry you up. This is Everyone's had a grand old time. Yeah, that's right. Boil that red gem right out of there. But only the one. Watch out, this tiff is held by the cliff side. Please don't fall. Now we can go on top of this castle here and do things. <laughs> Whoa. Unbelievable. Alright, so... It's good to look around. But, you know, yeah. Oh, jeez, there's gems there. It's a sneaky hiding space. No, wait, that's not where I Yeah, that is where I started. Well, there's stuff here on the side. Uh, someone just abandoned perfectly good rubies here to bask in the sun. You don't put those near the sun. They lose their value, like, almost instantly. That's why they're only worth one. There were used to be gold gems there. But then they were downgraded to rubies. Like, that's just how it works, probably. Don't know what I am doing in the end, it does. Oh, these are wild animals. Okay, they're not enemies. Destruction! They're not enemies, don't worry about it. Alright, there's a guy there. We're gonna get right back to you. I'm gonna bring this chest open first. That's just being smart. Alright, here we go. I don't know what I'm doing at all. Oh, man. It's like every time I see things in a place I used to be, I feel like I need to hurry up and get involved myself, like, immediately. Cause it's like it's some place I was already, right? It's like, I feel like I'm less prone to check it out later since there's this chest here behind a house? Ridiculous. Who puts anything be behind house? It's like, you're just gonna lose it and then you're gonna wanna play marble one day and you're gonna realize that the game's actually not very good. Alright, let's rescue a guy. They're all guys up to now. Halvor. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? You're not! Remember, Spyro, flame won't harm metal. Yeah. But charging with your horns, that should do the trick. But what if I want to just heat the guy up so he cooks alive in his armor? Like, fire shouldn't enable me to do that, right? I understand why they would, like, reiterate that a few times, because the game is ridiculously open. So, you know, you gotta make sure the player is equipped with the right information, like, at all times. I, I get that. I understand that. We're just got chest here in an alley, but now they're gone. Yeah! Alright, look at- oh, that guy's running away. That's smart. Ruh. Then there's- ruh. There we go. That's right. I'm just kinda of stuck against your geometry. It's gone- I'm I hearing the egg thief. He's somewhere. Alright, from here I can go here. Do I want to do that? Obviously. Why not, right? There's a thief! Alright. Can I light this firework? I sure can. I don't know if that did anything. Well, goodbye! Oh, all the gems are there. I'm hoping they, like, stick around. Oh, jeez. 
Oh jeez. All right. Oh yeah, you're around this shape. Oh, and I'm gonna run to this wall. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now I'm starting to understand the social cues involved with dealing with a thief. Uh, there's not a whole lot of them. Oh, there's one up there. Very exciting for me. I didn't even let time for the gimmick to mimic. Mimic gimmick. Mimicry is decency. All right, glad we've had that conversation. All right, this looks to be to use this little step to hide these blue guys, huh? Yeah, that's right. Next to a pit, no one wants to fall. All right, and then we can go up here. Maybe like I automatically collect uh, the. Well, well, you're dead. Hey, yeah. All right, everyone's falling over themselves. Good times. What you're cooking there, I would like to know. I'll never know. Like, I can look, but, like, I, I, like I'm not gonna be, like, it's just like this weird porridge. It's very brightly colored. I see gems there. I can't tell. Yeah, I'm seeing something sparkle there in the, in the ar ar arid, arid wilderness, but I don't know if it's somewhere I can go. One thing at a time. One step in the city of Kumquat. Oh, look at that guy. I tried to burn him up, but yeah, yeah. See, that's why I didn't want to charge. I knew that was going to happen. I have intimate knowledge about how easy it is to trip everywhere. Alright, that's fine. It's not like I died or anything. We can just turn back around and look at the texture swim. That is... Look, I know it's not supposed to happen, and strictly speaking, it is a visual bug. I still think it looks super rad. Even it's not supposed to be. Look, it's real hot. Just imagine that it's Spyro having some heat stroke right now in the middle of his adventure. Oh boy. Uh, oh yeah, there's the pile that um, the fire were blasted off. It's now just kind of littering the place. Oh, I just love the absolute no confidence I'm displaying when I break chests and just take my time one at a time. Whoa, I saw a zero there. That's because it's a ten. A zero gem value. Now that's exciting. All right, city town, top town. All right. Well, you guys are just staying there, being very powerful. I appreciate your effort. Hey, there you go. Cook a gem. Look at that, it's Dragon 2! It's Enzo, the wild! Hey, what's on the other side of that river? What is Why on the other you side? Glide there and find out? Alright! So, this is a game saying, no, this is where the rest of the level's at. Go up the river. And become one with the Nautilus. That's right, fry this bacon, which we call cactus. It's the bacon of the plant world. It'll prick your tongue. All right, so let's glide and find out what's on the other side of the river. I mean, yeah, like I could clearly see like the shining, the sparkles. The game's like, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw that correctly, my friend. There's totally a bunch of stuff you might want. I don't know. Like this bird. Well, now he's bacon. Why? Why? So why am I just repeating bacon all the time? That's some, that's some bad commentary. There's the, yeah, that's what I thought. Big ol' antenna set up on the desert palestrade to the limit where we can go. Burn up that bird. It is now a crispy type of dessert. Eh. Yeah, foul based dessert. Okay, uh, my animal friend could be more golden. So thank you for your extremely willing sacrifice. I appreciate it. Quite a bit. I can hear you, bird, going quack or something. A quack like sound. If it sounds like a quack, it's probably not it, but we can pretend. This bird destruction. Yeah, my. So, a criticism I feel I have of this game is due to the nature of every enemy is holding a gem forever. You essentially have to go out of your way to singularly kill every single enemy. I don't know. Like, I always find that a little bit tedious, but hey, the game is fun enough to control that. It's not too bad. Alright, bird. Uh, yeah, that's right. Stay on your post. 
post it up. Old school style. Hey guys, I need I need more of your soul, please. Uh, for my friend. Uh, see, it's a selfless robbing of a soul. That makes it okay. That makes it good, maybe. Probably, maybe. Is that the sound the vulture would make? This quack, like, scrack? Quack, scrack? I don't know. I'm missing a lot of gems still, Marco. Uh, King of the England. Point in Cliff Town. You can get to almost anywhere from here. Well, I, would you? I'd use that whirlwind there. Oh, there's a whirlwind somewhere. But look at that beautiful texture on those cities. It's real nice. There's a, oh, there's a whirlwind there. There's just like something down there. Uh, period. It's kind of an awkward spot, huh? All right. So oh shoot. Okay. So now I'm here, and I think you just opened up the whirlwind there. Like I think that just. See, I, I realize that the game does not have upgrade paths or whatever, but like you do have like level elements that sometime arise. And that's what I mean by unlocking, like just like a key or a way out, you know, just a little something. All right, well, I'm nowhere close in terms of gem still. Um, but a four hundo, but that's all I'm missing. It's a big all, though. Like, what do I have left to explore? Let's find out! You're just shaking it off. That's cool. There's a chest. There's a few chests up here. Oh, there's a whirlpool here. I don't know when that opened up. Probably when I got here. That's nice. So you think I can make it to those chests from here? Hmm, no. But maybe from the highest point in Hyrule, though. Wait, no, wait. That's on the other side of the... That, no, well, I guess I'll save because I accidentally stepped on this plate here, but... That's way too far. Oh, is it way too far? No, it's not. Uh, yeah, barely. All right, so... This is not gonna be everything, though, unless there's like a billion gems here. There was not a billion gems. I mean, it's part of the solution. I mean, I haven't been there. And it seems like an obvious place to check, but like, do I have an easy way to get there? Like, this is as far as I can go. Yeah, this is where the invisible barrier is. And that's not low enough. No wait, but I just saw a red gem that no, it's a flag. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything glittering. Oh, behind it though! Uh, they really want you to explore every facet of the universe. Oh, this is... Yeah. Oh, that's a big piece. Oh, is that it? Is that gonna be it? Is that gonna be it? That's a big purple! Yeah! How do I get out of here without dying. Okay, there's land there. That's how. Fair enough. Man, if anything, this game is going to get me really good at exploring 3D environments, because that's just constantly a thing. That was a lot of fun, though. But yeah, like, you just, you, you look at the structure, you have to think, okay, what can I do with that structure? Oh, man, it still bothers me here that I clearly don't know what I'm doing. There's more to do here. But how and what? I mean, there's a, there's literally a target on this, uh... On this stick of stone. Like, can I... Please be dead. Like, can you push these? Oh, so if you try to headbutt, you go into full on. Okay, full on like use object mode. So that's a thing now. Suddenly you can use things. Ooh, yeah, that's what I thought. You need to jump from Uncle Shem's cabin. So can you do that with like every one of these? Like if I go here, yeah. Okay, got it. Ugh. But, it's okay. 
No, but here it won't lend me. Maybe because it has one can and it spend it? I have no idea. So, the one I did make blow up, is it still blown up? That's my question. Yes. Alright, so let's be smart. We go here, which will let us jump all the way here. This doesn't feel great. Oh, there's a whole level here. I mean, night flight. Oh, yeah. Dude, just please, please be dead. I just want to get the gems here and forget about everything. So, oh, I don't want to. So many? There's. 200 total, and I'm still missing a dragon, and uh, there's a leprechaun somewhere. Keys, gems and stuff. Yes, yeah, so now I can get here. Whoa. How exciting. There's like that door over there. There's a dragon that I'm still missing, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah, and he's over there. He's not very well hidden. Perfect. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, okay, there he is. There's the keys. A whole lot happening here. Um, hey, buddy. All right, this is just awkward for everyone. Here we go. Uh, and you're like, okay, let me just get this so we don't get interrupted. It's Gunnar! The power of guns. Well done, Spyro. Oh. Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. It looks like a hyena. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. He was going to say a swear. That Spyro, what an incorrigible youth. Uh, how did that happen? Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm stuck on a wall now. But you're like, right next to this ooze patrol. Uh, what a fool, what a jerk. Get the egg back. Uh, no, jump, jump, jump. I press jump! I press jump multiple times! Alright, there you go. What a silly thing that can happen. Right, and I got a key, so I can unlock the chests that are over there. Like, will one key unlock two chests? Let's find out together. Alright, open this up. Open this up. No? Is that not a key? Is it a specific key for... Um, maybe you're supposed to use the cannons for these. One day. What are the rules? There you go, jeez. No? no? I Please? I just want to use a cannon. Why you gotta be weird about this? I don't know. Alright. So that you're supposed to, like, aim it there? But I do have a key, though. Okay. Well, that explains that. I still hold a key. I'm gonna use a way to find it eventually. All right, yeah, I'm gonna find that key. All right, no, no, get away around. This is, this is not great, by the way. <laughs> ah, this is so finicky. All right, here we go. Post, post aim, yeah, all right. Game is happy enough. Yeah, contentment. Uh, all right. There's a proper key place, though. Or, like, just more things I need to destroy that I wasn't aware of. Well, there's that... There's that gate over there. Like, there's clearly something in there. Maybe I should return on the other side. I can go here. Oh, I need to go on the art. Okay, simple enough. Go up here. And yeah, from there you should easily be able to go over to that cave. The cave of wonder and amazement and chests. And there we go, the proper chi. Proper chi for key consumption. All right, then you do that, and you do that whole jump. That's a thing that happens, you know, thrill at the interactivity between me popping the chest and then eating its content. And there we go! Cleared the hub. It's what we do. And then from here you can glide there and not make it. 
Hey, it's fine though, cause we're here, and next time I can just start from here and find levels to play. Oh jeez, watch out there, buddy. Okay, maybe not exactly here. Let's just destroy this man. There you go. All right, peace and quiet attained. Uh, let's go find. Let's. Just, I still want to do a proper save just in case something happened or I forget something. Like I just think it's appropriate. And here, there we go. You saved the game. You're the fairy. You exist. I don't question, I don't understand what is a human, kind of look like one I guess.